Meantime, the number of lawsuits in connection with that deadly concert is rising. At last check, 77 lawsuits have been filed, and we're now hearing from rapper Travis Scott's attorney. KPRC 2's Taisha Walker joins us live from NRG Park with the latest details on this. Taisha, good morning. Lisa, good morning. As you mentioned, the number of lawsuits filed against rapper Travis Scott and Live Nation continue to rise. That number, 77 this morning at last check, growing more than five lawsuits within the last 24 hours. We know we are now hearing from Travis Scott's attorney, Ed McPherson, sharing the rapper's side of the story. McPherson says Scott is devastated over the tragedy here in his hometown and with all of the loud music Friday night, the large crowd and the pyrotechnics. There was no way for Scott to know just how desperate the situation had become. McPherson says the few times that his client saw people in distress in the crowd, he did seek help. When Travis knew something was going on, he would stop and make sure that somebody was helped. But as far as knowing the magnitude, knowing that something was happening that could ultimately lead to the death of now nine people, um, certainly he didn't know any of that. The attorney in his conversation with KPRC2 last night also mentioned some inconsistencies, he says, on the behalf of both the city and the county. You hear more of that in the six o'clock hour. We do know that Scott has offered to pay for the funerals of those nine victims. But as of yet, uh, the family say they have not heard from Scott or his representatives regarding that. We do know as well that Ben Crump, the civil rights attorney, a prominent civil rights attorney is uh, planning to hold a press conference at 10 a.m. where we could learn about even more lawsuits filed against both Scott and Live Nation. Reporting live from NRG Park, Taisha Walker, KPRC2 News. Taisha, thank you.